Hey everyone, Brian with Workshop Addict and today we're going to take a look at Milwaukee's M18 and M12 wireless job site speaker. This is model number 2891-20. Does not come with a battery, but it does come with an 18 volt transformer so you can plug it into the wall. Very cool unit and the first thing that we did was plug this in, used it while we were painting, brought it out to the shop, uh, used it in the shop environment a little bit. Uh, in the, we kind of noticed that it didn't have a lot of base. The first thing that we were thinking about was we could use a little bit more base, a little bit less of the mid-range, a little bit less of the highs, but there's no way of adjusting it. So when you're on the job site and you're listening to some rock and roll, you're not going to get a lot of the drums, but you're going to get a lot of the voices and a lot of the highs. Not a bad thing because when you actually compare it to the actual radio that Milwaukee makes, it's not too far off. So it's a nice little unit to have around, but if you're gonna look at these two, um, I would probably take a close look at how much this guy costs compared to what you might be able to get this guy for. There is a significant size difference and weight difference, but at the same time, you do get a radio, you get a charger here, and there's some benefits that you might get. So let's take a walk around this guy and show you what it'll do. So you might have noticed some water here on our workbench. Well, this unit is IP54 rated. That means it's gonna be debris and dust resistant along with water resistant. We took it a step farther. We got it playing some Bluetooth music. We dunked it right in a bucket of water. We kept it in there, brought it out, put it back in, kept moving it around with the battery installed, just trying to get it to see if it's gonna fail, how much water it can take. After we took it out, dropped it a couple times, threw it around. At that point, the Bluetooth was getting pretty weak because Bluetooth doesn't work well underneath water. Uh, anything wireless you put around water isn't gonna work well. And it was awesome. So if you're looking for something that's gonna hold up, this definitely passed the test. Taking a little closer look at the speaker, you have the power button there, turns everything on. You do have an auxiliary input. You can change over to Bluetooth or you can move your volume up and down right here. Now it's gonna depend on your phone if it's gonna adjust your phone volume or if you're gonna have independent volume controls on the speaker or the phone. Moving around back, this is where the battery is held. You can put in an M18 or an M12 battery here, no issue. Lots of room to get in there, move around. Here's where you can plug in a USB port, charge your phone or anything else that would take that. You also have an 18 volt in over here, and this is your auxiliary in port, which is a 3.5 millimeter, basically a headphone jack. So that's in there. You can see it's a little wet from being inside of water, but everything back here works well and is easy to get to. Battery life on this wireless speaker is all gonna depend on how hard you push the 40 watt amplifier. We tested it out with a 4.0 amp hour, 18 volt battery and it far outlasted the Samsung 7's battery that was pushing it. Um, it's going to be pretty fair. It, you're going to get around 8 hours of use on this with a 4.0 amp hour battery, probably closer to 10 with a 5.0 amp hour battery if you're really using this to uh, push some sound out on a job site. With that said, you can uh, tone the volume down a little bit, probably get a little bit more runtime or pop Milwaukee's 9.0 amp hour battery and get a lot of runtime. If you wanted to plug it into the wall, you still have that option, but I firmly believe, at least from my perspective, if I planned on using this to plug it into the wall, first I have to carry it around with me, and that doesn't really bode well with a nice portable speaker like this, I'd probably opt to move up to a little bit larger one that had the cord wrapped in the back. Uh, it would be a tough call for me if, if I would buy this unit, the wireless speaker, or go with the full radio. There's some benefits of adjusting the bass, adjusting the treble on the radio that you don't get with a wireless speaker. So it would be a real tough call and it's gonna depend on the price as to what way I'd go. Uh, there's a lot of hype around the speaker. It is nice. It's probably one of the louder ones out there, but it does not give you that just seriously quality sound yet. We're still waiting for a little bit more bass, a little bit more job site performance sound out of these wireless speakers. Hope this helps you out. If you're looking at these, uh, thinking about buying one, stop at our website. We have a blog and a forum. Also check us out on social media. We do a lot of stuff that while we're filming, so you'll see what's coming out a little bit before it hits the YouTube channel. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.